Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday. It's January 8th. Uh, we're starting a new year here. A lot of you have wondered where I've been. Uh, most of you have probably heard the news by now, but there's still I still get a occasional straggler email come in or a comment wanting to know where the chart lessons are and where I've been and what's going on. But for those of you that aren't aware, I had an accident. Um, right before Christmas so I really didn't I really didn't even get any time off during the holidays um, I, the bottom line is I had a detached retina in my right eye and uh, I woke up uh, uh, the Wednesday morning before Christmas basically blind in that eye and uh, um, I had to have emergency surgery to repair it and I had to keep my head down for a eight days I couldn't look up I had to sleep that way and so I didn't get to really leave the couch or the house for eight days over the holidays so uh, anyway I've I'm improving they repaired my they went in repaired the retina uh, my eyesight is improving I'm not back to 100% my depth perception is a little bit off uh, I'm struggling to view the screen to be honest uh, and they said it could take 12 to 18 months to before my vision gets completely back to normal and it may not ever get back to 100% normal but uh, uh, at least I can see out of that eye and really what it is it looks like everything in my right eye is about three feet closer than everything in my left eye and so you can imagine how that affects your death perception and uh, it almost looks like a wrinkle in my eye as well um, when I look at the screen, I just there's like a wave in the screen, and so I'm not going to trade yet. I'm going to start coming in and doing uh, and trying to get back to a normal routine. Coming into the office, uh, opening my charts, I'll I'll post a, the mid morning chart each day, and I'll try to do a chart lesson in the afternoons. And um, as I start to feel better and see a little better and feel more comfortable about my eyesight, I may take some trades. We'll just have to see. Uh, but it may be a little while before I actually start trading live again. But I, again, I will start try to get back on a regular schedule now with the mid-morning chart on the website and the YouTube uh, update. So that's where it stands with me, and that's why you haven't heard from me. And for those of you that are still, you know, just hearing this, uh, it's uh, it's a little scary when you wake up one morning and you can't see. But basically, I had a small tear in my retina, and it allowed... Uh, it allowed fluid to get behind there and then um, I stepped down off a ladder and, and I didn't fall off the ladder but I missed the step coming down and I jarred myself real bad and that was enough to go ahead and cause the de the retina to detach. They said it probably would have happened eventually anyway but I sped it up when I had the little accident on the ladder so uh, the fall itself didn't off the ladder didn't hurt me other than it was enough jarring to detach my retina and uh uh, if you've ever had a detached retina, you know what I'm going through. I've heard about it before. I'm familiar with what it is. I didn't have any idea how serious it was until it happened to me. So, um, you know, and your eyesight is everything to a day trader. Without eyesight, I mean, you're, you, you just basically can't do this job. So it's pretty critical and important that uh, my eyesight does heal. Hopefully it does. And um, I can get to where I can see the screen normally, but I, I'm struggling a little bit right now, to, so I'm not going to try to trade live yet. I, again, I may in a few days I may take a start, to, maybe trying to take one trade a day or something, just kind of see how it goes. But I'm not going to rush anything. Um, but I am going to try to get back on my regular schedule and try to do the chart lessons and the mid morning chart and all that. So anyway. Um, Great Christmas present I had, but uh, I'm healing, I'm better, and um, it's hard to keep me down. So, And I am a workaholic, as most of you probably already know. I've talked about it before. So I'm eager to get back to work and eager, eager to get back to uh, more of a normal schedule. So anyway, today will be the first chart lesson of the new year, and that's where I've been, and that's why you haven't heard from me. Uh, so um, I haven't retired, I haven't died, I haven't... Uh, ran off and disappeared or decided I don't want to do this anymore or anything like that. So it was just a, an unfortunate accident that I had and uh, I'm on the mend. 
so I appreciate your prayers and your thoughts and uh, all the good well wishes and encouragement and all that stuff that you've sent me. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, let's get to the chart lesson. Pretty good trading day today. I would characterize this as a range day, but it is a big range day. We had a move up to the top, a move down to the bottom, and another move back to the top. There's three different trends in here. You got two to the upside and one to the down. Uh, they're all two tier channels. There's even two tiers over here. I don't have it drawn on there, but you can see the two tiers here where we got a lower shot. Uh, overshoot and then we reversed and then we trended up uh, the rest of the day just back up to about where the highs were but generally what happens anytime uh, the market closed here yesterday and it opened here today so even though you don't see a gap there between those two points on, on the daily chart there is no overnight trading so there is a gap and generally prices will come back and trade back down so that there's no gap there and that's what happened we traded back down filled that gap and then we traded right back up again and actually closed somewhere up near the highs of the day uh, actually we didn't close up there we actually retested those highs for the most part and then we closed down off that a little bit so let me back out a little bit we'll talk about these trades and we'll have our first chart lesson of the new year and we'll go from there Um, I will still do the same starting around seven o'clock and, you know, do through the two o'clock, even though I'm not actually trading, I may not be here this, that early. Um, I'm going to try to get on my regular schedule. I, I probably won't come right in here at seven o'clock since I can't trade. There's no rush really to get here. So what I will probably do is, uh, come in around eight or nine and I'll do the, I'll upload the mid morning chart, show you what I see and, um, and then I'll do the lesson each afternoon. I may do it earlier since I, you know, there's no sense in, I won't be able to hang around. I'll probably won't be hanging around here as much since I'm not trading as I used to be. But, uh, uh, so I may do the, this, the YouTube lesson a little bit earlier each day. But anyway, let's get to the chart lesson. When I came, uh, you know, right around the seven o'clock hour when I would have normally came in, uh, since I wasn't here this morning, I can't say I came in, but there's, um, a higher low right here notice that prices are coming down you get a first entry and this is technically a second entry but i generally like to see the market try to go lower at least twice so you get a higher low here and this is really all one move so on a bigger uh, chart you might see another second entry right in here but i like this one just simply because we just came off the uh trend trend line again and this is your key entry point up through here and you can see there's a there's an inside bar here that's fairly bullish but in my opinion it's not bullish enough so i'd wait on that higher low which comes here and we actually got a failed second entry short here uh, this is a new swing low it's lower than that one right over here so it's a new one so first entry second entry short and another bullish bar so I like either one of those and if you wanted to add on there i wouldn't even have a problem you can see we're making higher highs and we're actually not actually making really higher highs here although we are making higher lows and the closes are getting higher so it's basically the same thing i like going long on those two there's a little breakout pull back here and if you you know what it is we got a little spike and a shorter term channel here and you can see then we get a close outside and move to a new high and then we just start going sideways so there's a possibility you might enter here uh, and it actually went lower i believe before it went higher so that's another possibility I didn't mark it, but when you're watching that in full time speed, you might be interested in that one. And of course, with this spike up in this little tight channel, we get the break and then you get a couple of moves up and then we just start going sideways and we work back over until we get a little failed break lower. Plus we bounce right off the key entry point here. So I like going long there. It was good enough for a scalp. It didn't continue higher. It actually came down. And then you made a little double bottom and a second entry long. That's a, that, that little high right there is, um, you basically got another bounce and swing here. You could look at that as being a higher low. So a first entry, second entry, um, and a double bottom. And that's a really a relatively bullish bar. So you may consider entering there. The reason I didn't like making this one blue 
is that it's really a lot of sideways action there. So it, it's really congestive. And it, these bars are mostly all bullish, though. You can see we're trying to go lower most of your stems at the bottom, and that's a relatively bullish bar on the second entry. So you and it, and still again, it's almost like another failed break lower here. So you may take that trade. I marked it green. Turns out it's a nice move. You make a higher low here, but it's right back into the resistance across there. And all you really need is a tick or two higher to have your break and a new high, and then it could turn down. So uh, I think that one's too risky. And then, of course, we make the new high. We basically make a double top. Then we got a lower. Look how we shoot through the EMA. You got a lower high here and a big. It actually broke higher and turned down and closed. You got a big bearish bar. You could have gone short one tick below that one. But e at that point, you were really back inside the range, although we'd already pushed through here. So it's probably safe to go short there. The better play is just to wait till that closes. Drop a sell order right there and off it goes. That was a pretty nice move there. Then we're just kind of going sideways again here. I don't really see anything I like here. There's a failed break lower here, but you got a big leg down and you're probably going to make another leg down. So I would be looking for a short here. And notice how you get a failed break out, but there's a little trend working up. Close outside, a couple of moves up, and then um, you might have already, you might have drawn this line off here. You can see it fits up here. That's where I originally had it, but I ended up adjusting it later on as you got a little more price action. So if you did that and then you drug this up to the top, that would have alerted you of where this line would probably be as well. And uh, But you really didn't need it. You got the break here, move up, and that's a failed break higher out of this little, look at all that resistance right there. And um, this is also a second entry short. Notice this low, first entry. And then a second entry short right there. And a relatively small bearish bar. And then now you're off running and that's just going to be your second leg down. And you get another little correction here. There's actually a second entry short here. You could have gone short here. I didn't mark it because you've still got this little trend line here working up. And there's a little channel. Uh, but... Technically, you could have taken that one. It's a little bit aggressive, I think. I'll mark it green. But you get your lower high. Now you get a little close outside, and you push up, and you make basically a double top and a big bearish bar. That's where I like going short. Off it goes. Then we're just kind of working sideways again. You finally um, make a lower high here with a big bearish bar um, and both of those you're testing that midline you should have been able to have that midline in place by now so that would have been a good place to go short you do have to go short into the lows but you push through here pull back so it's like a little breakout pull back for that congestion spot and the main thing is, is that the EMA the uh, midline it's just a key entry point and off it goes again and finally you get that overshoot and then you're correcting here this should be over here a little bit more. So now that got moved. And you can see this working up. You get a break. You move higher. Um, not a good, uh, bearish enough signal bar right there. And we're really not quite back to the trend line, but it could be off a little bit. So but if you'd had a good signal bar, I would say you probably could be safe taking that short. But we come back up. We make a, We get a break of this trend line. And we get a lower high right here. And that's a double test. Notice we made that high. We tested it once. We tested it twice. Big bearish bar right at the key entry point. I like that one. It actually went higher here. and But it makes a little double bottom. Then you get an inside bar. So I'm not crazy about taking any of those others. Um, I would have, You would have been out most likely. And your runners would have probably got stopped out. And I would have just left it at that. And then, of course, we bounce. We can't get back down there. But we did have an overshoot here. And a lot of times when you get an overshoot, you're not getting a reversal. Or actually, I shouldn't say you're not getting a reversal. Let's, uh, let me back up. You're going to get a reversal. You may not get a retest on a low before the reversal is what I meant to say there. And so you got to be real careful getting short down here. You need to come back to the key entry point. There was a second entry short right here. 
um, a relatively bearish bar. Notice that new low and then first entry, second entry. But uh, you got a lot of congestion and stuff going on here, and you did have this reversal. Uh, this one would have worked. It had just enough to scalp out, so you know you could argue for it. But you can see that trend line working up. There's been no break of it yet, so I don't think I'd. I'll make this one green, but I don't think I would take that trade. This is a good example, though, of why we only go for four ticks because um, you got exactly enough movement here to enter one tick below that bar and scalp out. You wouldn't have got one tick more. If you needed one tick more, you would have been a failure. But notice how we push on up and then we try to turn down again. And we're still on that trend line. Uh, nice reversal type bar I like going along there. Possibly it's a little bit early yet. Um, the better long is up here. And notice you try to go short once, twice. Uh, that's your double. You bounce right off the EMA bullish bar. It's a second entry long. New high, first entry, and then second entry. Look how bullish that bar is. I like that one. Off it goes. <clears throat> and of course, if you do this trend line and drug it up, this turns down exactly where you'd be thinking. Plus, you already got your break here and your new high. Now you're working down. You don't get a lower high to right here, and you've already got a break, but I still like that one. Relatively bearish bar. You're probably going to get another leg down. If we're coming back down here, which is, you're probably going to at least test these lows right across here. And this thing, the bottom just falls back out. But of course, it bounces right off that key entry point. And this is a second entry long when it broke higher here. Notice this leg down and then a correction and a second leg down. But this is technically your signal bar and this is an inside bar. So I'm not crazy about it. And... Too congestive here, even though there's a fail, you could treat this like a failed second entry short. It's right into a possible midline. You do come back to the key entry point right here, but again, you're right, you're you're fighting both sides of that. Um, you get another one here right into a double top, and you don't have a very good signal bar here, so you really just don't get another chance to enter on that move up. I don't see anything there I'm crazy about at this time of day. You start working sideways and you get a double test here. Notice that low. You test it once, you test it twice. Nice bullish bar. Uh, there is a trading range going on here. And uh, I like that double test in the bullish bar. Uh, this was a possibility. Uh, again, this is your signal bar though. And that's your inside bar. So wait on a lower high. And then that gets you in the two o'clock hour and just kind of going sideways. So I don't, I don't see anything. This afternoon was not very good. It was pretty nice trading up to about lunchtime and then not much going on after that. So, um, the volatility still seems to be up. The volume still seems to be up a little bit. Um, this is a, a decent trading day. And from what I understand, I haven't even looked at the charts, to be honest with you, because I hadn't felt like looking. But I understand that there's been some pretty good trading days in here. You can look back and see them. Some nice rallies here. Man, that was a nice day. I think there was a couple of big sell-off days in there, too. I remember hearing the news, and I didn't even look at the charts. I couldn't look. I couldn't lift my head or lift, literally for eight days. So, And when I did, I couldn't see much of anything either. So... Um, I just used it for a complete vacation, to be honest with you. But anyway, that's what I saw today after the fact. I didn't see it. I watched a little bit of the price action this morning just to see how how I felt while I watched prices move. But I probably won't be watching charts much during the day. I'll probably just be doing the chart lesson. So uh, keep that in mind. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm glad to be back to a certain degree, even though I'm not 100% yet. I uh, hope everybody had a good holiday. I hope you're having a great 2019, and we'll look forward to how the trading goes. But so far, everything still looks good. The volatility and the, uh, the price action, the, the high volume and all seems to be continuing into 2019. So let's hope it keeps that up, because that just makes uh, some for some really good trading. So uh, I'm excited about being back, even though I'm not 100% yet. So feels good just to kind of get back on a regular schedule but anyway i'm gonna wrap it up 
We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mike with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.